We are here at Dexter Ann Arbor Road, 4175. This house right here, um, I'm pretty sure this garage doesn't belong to it. Uh, this is an income property, uh, currently rented, I think, until July. Um, we're on a fairly busy road. Uh, Dexter Ann Arbor Road runs between Dexter and Ann Arbor, if that wasn't obvious. Um, and <clears throat> it has a lot of traffic because there's people living on this road and traveling to Ann Arbor through this. Um, so there's a lot of traffic on this road, but this house is not seated right up against the road. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and flip this around and take a look. Here's the house itself. It's got a nice uh, stone porch here. It's a bungalow, nothing enormous, um, but it looks to be in decent condition from what I can tell from the outside. I think uh, you can hear the traffic noise a little bit, but like I said, this isn't sitting right on the street. It's a hair behind it. Oh, I wonder what that is. Septic and a well. Huh. Standing on top of the septic tank. So it looks like it just backs up to farm fields, which is pretty nice. Um, huge side yard. And I'm excited to see inside this house. As long as we're here, might as well go see what the deck looks like from the outside. I think you could probably have a fire pit here. And we've got a little deck on the back. Like I said, I don't think that garage, according to my maps, is not owned by the same people who own this house. So don't get excited about that garage. Just as a side note, all right, let's take a look inside, shall we? Okay, I've zoomed out a bit so that we can get a better view. This is a nice porch, it's big. There is one foundation crack I see, which is kind of normal. Um, the steps are pretty good. Uh, there's nothing really notable, a little bit of missing concrete. Here, absolutely nothing that's, uh, that strikes me. So let's take a look inside. Here we go. Nice living room space here. We've got two bedrooms and a bath. Like I said, it's a bungalow, so it's one main living space. Nice little bedroom right here. Living space here. And then we're going to head into the kitchen. So we've got this kitchen, don't you? Yeah. and then, okay, let me just back out of this kitchen. We can take a quick view of the whole kitchen. There we go. And the back bedroom is through here. Again, these are nice countertops, great backsplash, neat kitchen. Um, pretty good uh, storage space, actually, for the size of this kitchen. This is great storage. All the storage below, nice fairly new cabinetry it looks like, or they've just refurbished what was here originally, but I'm not sure if this was how the original kitchen was laid out. So, back door here, that goes out to that deck we looked at earlier. Second bedroom, this one seems a little smaller. Oh, there's the bath. The bath is through this bedroom. Cool. That pink wallpaper. Oh my gosh, it's flamingos, that's amazing. Um, access to the ceiling here. That's a really interesting tub. Uh, it's almost like a little soaker of some sort. The tile looks in good condition. We're gonna head to the basement. I wanna show you what that looks like. It's, um, it's an interesting layout for this basement. That's it. So it's sort of a pantry up top for storage. And then somehow I've got to get down there. So let's take a look at that. Okay. It's not a basement I don't love. So let's get down in this. These are some steep stairs. But this is the Michigan basement. So it is utilitarian. It is here to serve a purpose. To be under the house. And to use for some storage. And to house the mechanicals. In fact, this looks pretty darn good when you're down here. I can't complain. So this, they've put down some sort of foamy flooring. This is that, uh, 
you know, it just sort of uh, locks together. You can buy it at Costco. It's not oh, anything that's permanent. You can pull it up at any moment. It's not going to be hindered by any water damage or anything like that. So that's a kind of a great solution for this type of basement because now it's, it, feels, it feels pretty clean down here and you can obviously use it to work out in your behemoth you know, workout station. Also makes a pretty clean walkway to the washer and dryer. This basement's better than I thought it was going to be. I always like it when it's surprisingly good. Okay, so a little bit more of this foamy business. Um, that just makes the uh, make this old concrete feel a little bit better. Halfway decent dryers and washers. Um, just a lot of storage space down here. But uh, this room here is actually usable. I, I'm not in love with the stairs and the way down is a little bit treacherous, but and a place for more storage, I guess. If you want to put 15 people in this house, I wouldn't recommend it. But and this is not a bedroom, by the way. No egress window, no uh, way to escape a fire. Please do not house a person down here. Just a quick reminder, what a uh, pretty great house. So I'm not alone, so I'm not going to go back through it upstairs, but I'm going to turn this off and wish you the best.